Hey guys, so today we are going to be learning about how we can ask questions about nonfiction text. So again, we're working with our kangaroo book from Amazing Animals that we've been working with all week. So we're gonna continue working with this book and learn how to ask questions after we've read the book. Let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so I went ahead and set up our anchor chart and it's called Readers Ask Questions. And there are three sentence starters that I went ahead and wrote out for us that we can get started with. So first, we've already read this book. We read it the first Monday lesson. So if you have not checked out that lesson yet, go ahead and back and watch that lesson for me. But we went ahead and learned all about kangaroos. So I wonder why this sentence frame is going to talk about what you are still wondering. So we've read this book, we've learned about kangaroos, all that good stuff, but what is something that you are still unsure about, that the book maybe didn't answer for you, that you still want to find out about? So I'm probably going to say, I wonder what, I know that we read about how there's many different types of kangaroos and I didn't know that, but I want to know why are there different types of kangaroos, you know? Are there, um, is it because of their different habitats? Is it because of their climate? Is it because of their fur color? Why are there different types? So see how the book told me the initial information. There are different types of kangaroos and I'm taking it a step further to ask information that's not in this book. So I'm going to say, I wonder why there are different types of kangaroos. All right, so our next sentence frame is where does. So we know where deals with the location or the place of something. So we know that the kangaroos live in Australia. We know that. So I'm going to take it a step further. The quest readers asking questions is all about taking it a step further, seeking information outside of the book. So let me see if I can find that page. <laughs> so let's see. I'm seeing right here we're talking about how they eat the different plants. So I'm going to say where does a kangaroo find their food? So where does, and this dealt with location slash place. So they talked about they live in Australia. We get they live in Australia. They eat shrubs, they eat plants, but where exactly do they find this food? Do they find it? What kind of habitat? Do they find it in the desert? Do they find it in the rainforest? What kind of habitat? That's what I want to know. They haven't told me in the book. So again, my questions is taking it a step further. And finally, what is, this is kind of just, I'm going to call it the freebie question. This is something that you can ask after you've read a book, a nonfiction book, that the text simply didn't answer for you, that you still want to know about, that they just completely didn't talk about in the book. So I'm going to say, what is, hmm, let me think about something I really want to know. So I know they talked about looking out for danger, but what is the predator of a kangaroo? They didn't really talk about that. What is the kangaroos predator. So who hunts the kangaroo? They didn't talk about that in the book at all. They talked about how they had lookouts and how they traveled in big groups so that they were safe, but what were they didn't say something? They didn't really talk about that. So that's what I want to know. Readers ask these questions to help us further our research. So if I was writing a or making a project about kangaroos. These are some questions after reading this book that I still might want to ask to add to my project. So today, when you're reading a nonfiction book, I want you to focus on using these three questions. And I want you to ask yourself, I wonder why, where does, and what is to help you ask good questions about nonfiction books. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next mini lesson. Bye, everyone.